Kia ora. welcome to Daisy Tips. Now, you may find yourself out and about in the wilderness, and you may find yourself far from anywhere that has a house, but you may find yourself in need of some kind of a shelter out of the rain, or, or possibly a place to even store some of your equipment. So what do you do in that situation? Well, you have a couple of options, but first what you'll need is a shelter kit which will allow you to build a shelter. How do you make a shelter kit? Well, <clears throat> you need at least four short sticks, and you also need a, a rope, which is uh, here. And you can combine those, and you get a multitude of options, one of which is the shelter kit. And that's the one that we want, so put the shelter kit. I'm going to pick it up. Right, now you'll see that we have the option to choose placement. So, what we're looking for is um, is relatively flat ground free of obstructions, and you'll see it will go white when we have an area that we can put it in. And once we get an area that's white, we're good. If we um, want to put it in some trees, for example, and we um, use R2, and we build that on the ground, and we don't get much, you always seem to get this transition um, from the ground surface. So um, now that we have this, we can have a look at it. And if we pull up the inventory, you'll see that it gives us the shelter site. It says we need some sticks to build a base. And we have either uh, leather or tarp or more sticks as materials required. It's, it's either of these three, not all, which was a mistake that I i made so i have um gathered some short sticks already so what we'll do is um <coughs> we'll add the long sticks or off we'll drop them in the facility and we'll just drag and drop in this case you can also um if you've got it in your hand you get a, an option to attach uh here r2 attach that allows you to attach it to the shelter site get rid of the short sticks. Um, short sticks comes in bundles of five, as you can see there, and each bundle of five weighs five. You're going to need 50 of them. Ten bundles, obviously, taking up 50 space. Right, so once we've added all those in, we now get a different option when we are near the shelter site. We get a square option. I just, I put up this leather here because my intent was to show you that, that sometimes there are issues with trying to build this with things lying on the ground. So while I get that uh, square build improvised shelter, and I'm going to try and build it, and in fact it builds, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't always happen in all cases, which um, just goes to show you that um, some of the mechanics around Daisy can be a little bit fickle. Right. Anyway, here's your shelter, uh, which which looks pretty good. An improvised shelter, and you can um, pack it down again. Just uh, be aware when you pack it down again, you will always lose something. You will lose some sticks. Uh, in this case, lose a little bit of um, short sticks. I think, in this case, and also. You can't necessarily build a shelter on top of where you had a previous shelter. It seems to clash. Probably remembers that it used to exist. Anyway, there we go. We've um, we've rebuilt the shelter, and I think you'll agree it uh, it it blends in pretty well. It, not necessarily in this environment so much. Might be um, better suited to somewhere else, but it um, it blends in pretty well. It has a capacity of 100. Um, you can crawl inside. Just do be aware that you, you can get stuck in these things, so you can crawl and you can't get out. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit of a nuisance. Sometimes dropping uh, stuff that you're carrying on your shoulders helps. Uh, sometimes you just have to turn around and um, back out, I think, is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, yeah, definite glitch there with shelters in terms of people getting stuck in them, but there is a way out. We'll just see that now. 
remember to reverse out and then you can pick up your gear so yeah bit of a nuisance but um well, there you go and that's it that's the um that's the six shelter yeah not that bad really you, you can rustle one of these up pretty quickly to be fair so that's the stick shelter this is another shelter i wanted to show you um this is a tarp shelter which is made with um four long sticks as part of the base as we've seen and instead of using 50 short sticks using four tarp let's have a look at this one Is what a tarp shelter looks like. Uh, pretty much exactly as you think it's going to look like. Sort of, uh, sort of stands out quite a bit. Certainly a lot more than the stick shelter does. But you know, if you're not bothered, it's exactly the same. Capacity of 100. And um, yeah, there you go. Stick shelter, tarp shelter. Just got one more to show you. So this is the um, last of the shelters I'm going to show you. Pardon the change in surroundings due to technical difficulties between making the first portions of this video and the last portion of the video. But you will see here we have a shelter site. We have four long sticks. And in this case, we have eight pieces of tanned leather. And I've got another video showing how to make tanned leather from animal pelts with lime. So here we are. Let's build another shelter. There we go. Um, pardon the break in the video, but something I've found out sometimes is it can be a little bit hazy on getting these things to erect the first time. Um, so I had to have a couple of goes to get it working. But yes, so this is a leather shelter, which um, doesn't look, doesn't blend in quite as much perhaps as the stick shelter, but a little bit more than the tarp shelter. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you. Same capacity, 100, same ability to keep out the rain. A little bit faster to build if you've got leather on you. There you go. That's the three types of shelters that you can quickly and easily craft in Daisy. PlayStation.